I don't like the sounds that it's making. <laughs> oh my god. What do you think this could be? It's it's related to food. If you had to take a guess, what is it? Maybe like a like a like a kebab kind of thing, like to put on food easier. It is also called rolly. Rolly. Roll. What do you roll when you cut? Hold on. This kind of looks like a speaker. Hold on. No, no, no. I, isn't it? Is it the for potato chip? My official guess is. A, a coffee machine. I literally have no idea what this is. I've never seen this before in my whole entire life. Maybe like to cook an egg or something? Cause I know like you can cook eggs with chopsticks. I have some eggs and some canola oil. Is this gonna hard boil my egg <laughs> somehow? <laughs> well, it says spray oil before you. So I would obviously like spray this part. And then would I like crack the egg into this? I did not like that. <laughs> I don't like the sounds that it's making. It literally splat on me and it's so ah, oh my gosh. I have no idea how this is cooking me an egg, but it's cooking me an egg. I can only tell just because of the steam coming up. Oh, is this like an omelet? <laughs> it is. I hate that so much. Oh my god. It looks like a little sausage like thingy. Oh, it smells. I think the shape leaves a little bit more to be desired. How would you even eat it? Would you just like grab it and take a bite? That just sounds so gross. I just would never use that. No. It tastes good. It tastes like an egg. <laughs> mm. This is exactly like a boiled egg, except it's a log. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. Honestly, that's not a bad way to eat it. You know what I mean? I know it looks it looks weird. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it tastes like egg. You know, can't complain. It's useless. It smells terrible, and I can do it much better. <laughs> I say swipe left. If I saw this, I would not want to eat it. Also, it made the whole thing so much longer. I just feel like it's such a waste of time because who's gonna sit here, like, crack an egg into this, like, little thing and then wait for it to pop out? I would just, I do not have the patience for that. I don't think it's a device that you need to know about. I think it's a device that's good to know about, you know, if you see it, you know, it might be a funny gift, but uh, I don't think it's super essential. Final consensus, no. <laughs> Oval, 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 okay. A weird shaped bowl that has like different elevated positions, maybe to like separate food and liquid. You know, I'm just gonna say it's gonna be like two different snacks. It looks like what dog drink water out of, or like food out of. I don't know why there's like a whole different like weird stuff going on with it. I've never seen a bowl like that. You can put your milk in the cereal or, and then kind of like gauge however much you want of each, you know what I mean? Like this would be like the cereal part and then maybe if you want to add more. That sounds really smart because like actually like soggy cereal is terrible. Okay, I think that like the milk will go in here but the cereal will be in this part. But I still don't get how it's gonna work because there's like a slot, like I just don't understand how it's gonna work. I don't know if it's supposed to gradually like go in as you eat it but like how would it be pushed forward, you know? Oh, oh my God, wait, so it doesn't get soggy. I just like all my cereal like in there already. <laughs> this may not be how you use the oval, but this is how you eat cereal, okay? It's cereal. It's just a longer process. Hmm, interesting, now it's crunchy, it's good. <laughs> I don't eat the cereal when it gets soggy, you know what I mean? Like. Especially when it comes to something like uh, Fruity Pebbles, bro. Fruity Pebbles, and it always gets stuck to the side of the bowl, but like, come on, man. This is, this is nice, this is nice. I feel like it's more time consuming doing this way. You get to move it and pour cereal on different things. When you can just put both of them in, just, like, in one thing. It is useful if you really despise soggy cereal and like you would go to this length just to completely get rid of it. But if you don't really care that much, I just feel like it's too much of a process to do. As a cereal aficionado, this passes the test. <laughs>
at first, yeah, like a good crunch. But after a while, you like you need it to just be mush. I'm cool with like a normal bowl of milk and the like, common day. Something to spray out of. It smells good. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hold the fruit with this bottom piece. I'm gonna stick it with this top piece. And somehow you could spray it? <laughs> like it makes a fragrance, I guess, in the air. You know how like, you squeeze the lemon like on top of something like this? So I'm assuming it's like the same thing, just opposite. I don't know why I would just like need a little <laughs> sprayer. I mean, it's kind of like pepper spray. Like I could like spray someone with it. Dude, I love this. I love this. I like to just straight up eat lemon sometimes. So this is gonna be kind of nice. No. I'm rolling out the lemon so all the juices could just like be there. Holy crap, this is difficult. This lemon, this is so much. I would never do this for a lemon spray. I'm either incredibly weak or this is just really hard. If it's taking this much effort just to put in a hole, <laughs> maybe it's not as useful. This is a stand. <gasps> what? Oh, okay. We kind of got some action. Oh, wait, that's kind of cool. Okay, it kind of worked, but for all of that, I feel like it was pretty disappointing. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my God. May you show up to a dinner? Hey baby, how's it nice to meet you? I'm Jeremiah. <laughs> I don't need to know about it anymore because it's really messy and it's really <clears throat> forget that limited like stabbed it. I think I'd be better off like cutting it in half and just like squeezing it. I think just because of how obscure it is, this is absolutely a device that you need to know about. I was excited because it's like a lemon sprayer and even though I wouldn't need that, it just sounds kind of fun, but it just didn't really work. I love this invention. Whoever made this, 10 out of 10, five star. This is 100% a product you need to know about. It just makes your life easier, come on. They're like the solid things, so like, that's what my mom uses them for. It looks like bear claws. I feel like I'm in like Teen Wolf. Or if you want to cosplay as um, Wolverine. I feel like they're just for like tearing something apart. I have no idea what you could actually use them for. I'm assuming this is some kind of salad mixer. I think like to tear up chicken or like turkey or something. It looks like a meat tenderizer that like you could just kind of like punch. I did not expect this to be for chicken. Okay, that's fun. I get a stab into a chicken with my Wolverine claws. I feel like this is the most efficient way. You can like take your anger out. Actually, it does the job pretty well. I can't like, you know, get into the places I want to. The gaps are too big. I mean, it was fine like tearing it apart because it was like a big thing, but getting down to like the actual meat, like, you can't, you need a, like a fork. It's really satisfying, weirdly, and I don't know why, but I'm having a great time. Oh, look at that. That looks like I just put it through like a, a shredder. Honestly, I would so get this. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I like really, like, it's shredding it. Like, look how much chicken, uh, like, shredded already. I mean, yeah, I guess you say it works. I mean, it's a part of that. I would like to know about. I mean, it's not like an, on a need to know basis, but like, it's not terrible. Not making the cut. This is the one that you that you flip the channel on when you see it on the infomercial. I could see why you would need it. I just personally would never think about buying a chicken shredder. But I mean, if that's what you want, no judgment. <laughs> Thanks for watching You Need to Know Kitchen Gadgets on Replay. Subscribe for new shows every single week. Which was your favorite device? Let us know in the comments. Bye. Hey guys, Nick here. Want to see more of your favorite reactors? You can get access to exclusive live streams, bonus footage, and more at our brand new memberships program. That's fbesuper.com. And we will see you there.